In this video, you will learn how to build storyboards in Tableau. I've created an interactive dashboard based on the Superstore Sales dataset. This dashboard enables me to use action filters based on the way I click through the analysis. On the map, for example, this shows our sales profit across the whole country. We can see that especially for Texas, we experience a high loss. When I click on Texas, I can see all the products that I have sold in Texas. And we can see that especially for binders, this is where the issue is caused. Now, when we'll click on binders, I would like to see all the customers who bought my products, who basically bought binders in Texas. So what we can do, we can go ahead, select all these customers, right click, and look at the underlying data. Now browsing through my underlying data, I can see that especially since someone has given our customers really high discount, this cannot result in a good profit. Now, what if not every consumer of the dashboard is using the same drill down in order to get this information? Why not provide this discovery on a static Tableau storyboard? So we easily provide this information that we discovered to our consumers. In order to do that, I can simply go ahead, right click my sales report and unhide all sheets in order to get the individual tabs that I can now keep on working. This map is fine, but let's head over to our products. We now have to manually bring our, country, our state filter into this vis. So what I can do is just simply go ahead, drag my state onto the filter share for the products, and type Texas. This, fil this view is now filtered specifically for the state Texas. Now, this information should always infect the customers as well. So we can go ahead, right-click the state Texas into our product overview and say, apply this filter to other selected worksheets. This can be our customers. Now let's add a view for detailed customer information. Drag customer name on rows. Take your sales information, profit information, as well as your discount. You can go ahead and also sort this descending to look at each individual customer name sorted by the amount of profit. Let's call this detailed customer information. And also bring our state filter onto this tab. So hit selected worksheets again and just add detailed customer information. Now let's head over to our customers because we want to see the customers who did not only buy products in Texas, but also for the specific subcategory binders. Select binders and also apply this filter to other selected worksheets. Now add your detailed customer information. Okay, that's it. Now let's get back to our data source because I can see that I also have information of the regional states manager in my data set. I can drag people on here and Tableau will automatically define the join based on the region column in both tables. This means for my detailed customer information, I also now have the information of the salesperson, which I can drag on the rows as well. And now we can track it down to Kelly Williams, who's given out 80% discount to our customers. So here we got the information ready. Now let's put it on a, on a top of storyboard. From these three icons here, you can choose the right one in order to create a storyboard. 
Make sure that you're using the right size. But you can start off using your map information and just drag it on the caption here in order to create your first point of the presentation. Now here we can already see that Texas is low on profit. Let's get back to our products here. We can actually bring even more information here by just making clear our discovery that buying us are causing huge loss. So right click, add a mark annotation stating our discovery just even more. So high loss for buying this. Great. That's just what I need. Now head back to your story and just drag your products onto a new point. This is where we can add a new page within our presentation. So here we can see loss in Texas is mainly caused by binders. All right, let's have a look at the customers who actually bought binders in Texas. Having a step back to our customer view, we can see that this is affected by 130 marks. So from here, we can say that 113 customers have bought binders in Texas. Now, for the detailed customers information, we can just drag it onto a new point in order to get the information of the 113 customers who have bought these products in Texas. And here we can directly see that Kelly, Kelly Williams has definitely given out too much of a discount for our customers. So let's actually add this information onto this page. Create a dashboard, bring your detailed customer information on here and just add a simple text. We are experiencing high loss in Texas. This is caused by high discount on binders by the regional sales manager, Kelly Williams. Manager. Okay, that's what I need. So, hide this sheet. Oops. Just get rid of the sheet and add your dashboard number to your, to your storyboard. So now can you, you can look at your detailed customer information as well as the text that just explained what's happening here. Too much discount. We can also now add a title, because this is still our sales report. But the information that we discovered is just ready in our presentation. And we can just click through in order to drill down to see what I have discovered in my view. And this is a great example of using storyboards instead of interactive dashboard. We can provide our direct a discovery within a storyboard without the consumer having to have to find out this information himself.